Bear Lake, baby. Fish on, baby, fish on. Cut through. Fish on, fish on. Feels pretty good. Getting closer, getting closer. <clears throat> so reef runner, reef runner right on the bottom. Hit the reef runner. Dark green and light yellow reef runner. Now this one's got a really long leader on, so I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to net this fish, but I didn't want to swim with it this one. It's gotta be a it's gotta be at least it's probably a laker because it seems like it's bigger. Alright. Got her. Laker. Laker, Laker, baby. I'm gonna try to release this guy and try not to touch him too much. I don't know, this guy's got a huge gut and he's not going anywhere. We have to try to keep him, unfortunately. Fish on, fish on. Lost the other one, hopefully I get this one. I don't know what this is. It's not fighting super hard. fighting much at all. It might be a small cut. Small, small cut. Growling at me. Just doing some slow back trolling about a half a mile an hour. Got a two ounce jig on. And I'm just uh, just cranking on it, letting it ride right above the bottom. Hoping for a massive Mackinac. Fishon, Fishon. Fighting like a cut. Fighting like a cut. Jigging again. Cutthroat. All right, this guy's not hooked very good, so we'll let him go quick. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Small cut. Shouldn't say small, but... Still got some life left in them. There we go, quick release. All right, this feels like a nice fish. Fish on, baby. Only in 30 feet of water. I don't know what we got here. Make sure my jack's set right in case he makes a run. In the world is this? Oh no, did we snag a carp? Oh, good gracious. Fish on, baby. It's not fighting super hard, so we might be looking at a cutthroat here. Yeah, we got a uh, yeah, little cut. Fish on, this one's fighting good. Fighting real good. This is a big fish. It is fighting. It is like a log down there. I'm gonna reel up my other pole. I don't want to take any chances of getting caught in that line. 
Oh yeah, dude. I've been waiting for this. This is like a 10 pound, 15 pound fish at least, I would oh, guess. Yeah. Breathing hard, getting excited. Two hours of nothing and then Looks like he's about 70 feet down on the graph yet. Oh man, do not come off whatever you do. Whatever you do. This will be the biggest lake trout if I catch it that I've ever caught in the kayak. This thing my arm is tired. This thing is staying down there. This is just a nice fish. Whatever this is. My goodness. Oh, man. I don't know who's more tired, me or the fish. You sit there and you jig for four hours and your wrist feels like it's ready to break. Then you hook into a fish like this, and uh, oh, it's getting ready to go again. Oh, come on, I'm tired out. I feel like the old man in the sea right now. Glad this thing ain't tied around my toe. Oh man, this is a good oh, fish. Oh my goodness, I want to see this thing. Every time I get him up a little bit, he goes taking off again. Golly, I think the record for this lake is like 29 pounds. This has got to be getting close to that. Oh, bubble belching up some air. Oh, good lord. This is a two ounce. Okay, he's down there about 45 feet. A bit. Oh man. What a beast. Dear Lord, please let this fish get in the net. Oh man. Fifteen pound. Salmon didn't fight as hard as this thing's fighting. Please be a huge lake trout. Better yet, a cutthroat. Holy crap. Thing is huge. Oh my god. Get in the net. It's a huge lake trout. Oh boy. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh my god. What a beast. Oh. Man, I don't know. He's got to be all of 20 pounds, I would think. 18, 20 yeah, pounds dang. minimum. This was my goal. This is my goal, all these hours, I wanted to catch a big lake trout, and finally, finally did it. Yeah, dang. It's hard trying to net fish by yourself when they're this big. Especially when you 
got a seven foot, eight foot leader on, so it's not like you can just reach right out and reel, reel the thing four feet in with from the boat. You gotta really reach for the thing. Man, he's saying he's about 15 pounds. I thought for sure he was 18, 20, but fought like a champ, man. Here's to you, buddy. Unfortunately, he's bleeding out of his gills now, so I'm gonna have I was to just heading him. back towards the car because it was my last day on the lake, and uh, I figured the wife was gonna start getting upset that I wasn't back. Getting back because we gotta leave at one o'clock today. <sighs> oh man, this thing is a sow. Good lord. One big arse fish right there. Whew! Well, that made the trip. When you fish, fish, you get a fish this nice out of a kayak, you, you almost want to consider mounting it. Mount her, son. I like this stringer here. Pop it through, and then she's locked in. And this fish is handy. 50 feet of water. I bet it's another laker. It's not as big. Caught the other one at about 86 feet. This is a decent fish. It's not huge, but he's not tiny either out here. It'd be a huge cut. Well, there we go. Yeah, let's have it be a 10 pound cut. She's fighting pretty damn good. <laughs> I love this stuff, baby. Yeah, this beats work. All right. Bear Lake, baby. Final day. Last hour. Man, don't get hung up in my other line. Oh man, this one's fighting good too. It's not as big, I don't think. But it's a good one. Come on now. It's gotta be a lake trout. Nice laker doesn't compare to the other one, but he's good. Got my Cisco scent on these bad boys. This guy looks like his uh, gills getting ripped up, so he'll be a goner too. So his gills hanging out of the middle the front of his mouth. Yeah, kept kept the big one because it was uh, gonna die there because it. Uh, was bleeding, it's bleeding out. A five pound fish or so. Five or six. Six. Everybody has a tendency to overestimate their fish's weight. Usually, this guy is, uh, yeah, he's like six and a half, seven pounds. Oh, put him on the stringer and that's limited out, limited out. Call it a day, brother. We'll take it, we'll take it.